Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about what color you should order your wedding dress in. Before we dive into this topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to create a video on, any questions you may have, I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, and wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal. I am completely obsessed with what I do for a living and feel so honored and blessed privilege that I get to style women in the most important article of clothing a woman ever wears. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. This week's video is actually inspired by a subscriber, Liza Roden, asking what color she should go with for her wedding dress. She said that she has a darker complexion and wanted to know if she should go ivory lining with ivory lace or a darker lining with ivory lace and how to know what color is best to order her dress in. I love this question so much because this is something that we deal with on a daily basis at Lavella Bridal. The very first thing I'd like to address here is the sample gown that you are trying on and the condition of it. So because you are ordering your gown based on the sample, sometimes colors age and beading ages. So for example, a setting that a crystal is in is typically set in silver. Anything that's silver does tarnish over time. So if you are trying on a sparkly, really, really beaded dress. Oftentimes what you see is the store sample and what you get brand new can be a variation. And that's something that's really, really important to consider. We as stylists, sometimes we forget to mention that and we really should, but oftentimes we are seeing so many brides in a day and so many dresses, we forget that certain beadings have changed color or sparkle has fallen off in the back where the zipper is, where we clamp our brides into dresses. And so that's something to consider. Whatever you're trying on, your sample dress, oftentimes ask about the condition of it and samples could be slightly discolored, not by much, but slightly. And it's not uncommon to receive your gown brand new and have it be a fresher version of what you see in person. Ironically, I have had brides in the past that have seen beaded dresses that have tarnished over the years and they ordered that gown and were disappointed when they saw the dress brand new and that the stones weren't tarnished. They were actually lighter brand new versus darker that our store sample was. So those are things to consider and it, it happens. So in terms of going back to Liza's question, if you should go with a darker undertone or a lighter undertone, I'm going to go back for a moment to the store sample. I have had so many brides try on a dress in our store with a nude lining and ivory lace on top and they take photos of them in that sample gown. They stare at those photos for months until the dress arrives in store. They happen to order it ivory on ivory, so tone on tone. And that being said, they have stared at the images for so many months oftentimes they see it in the color that they've ordered and they're really disappointed because their eye got used to what they were looking at in the photos the one answer to this to consider is your safest bet is ordering the dress in the color that you saw it in to minimize dissatisfaction and disappointment once your gown arrives in store. The second component or rather second layer to this is that when you do a darker undertone with ivory lace, regardless of your skin tone, let's put the skin tone to the side for a moment. When you are looking at a dress that has a darker undertone and ivory lace in photos, that's done strategically because in photos, you are able to see more of the details of the lace. 
So if you are trying on a gown that has the darker undertone with the ivory lace on top and you want to order an ivory ivory, I highly recommend that you ask for an ivory piece of fabric and you put it underneath so that you can see what the lace looks like and then take a photo of like let's say the top of it being with the darker lining and underneath the bottom of your dress being with the lighter lining so that you're seeing it tone on tone and understanding how it photographs. Some designers only offer dresses in one color and they do that to the very first point that I mentioned of being disappointed in the outcome of how the dress looks. So a lot of designers have changed to just offering you one color, what you see is what you get to reduce disappointment once your gown arrives. Now let's address skin color. I highly recommend that if the dress you're trying on is sampled in the darker lining with the ivory lace or ivory detail on top, that you ask to see the similar types of fabrics tone on tone within that same designer, maybe just another dress so that you could go back and forth and compare it on your skin tone. For me, there isn't a rule of if you're a darker complexion, medium, or light that you should go with a certain colored dress. It's based on your personal preference. There isn't really a formula or an opinion that I have on your skin tone versus what color dress you should go with. I think that's your preference and I highly encourage you to try on both look at it in person and also take photo and video while you're in the dress so you can compare photos videos looking in the mirror all in one shot so that you don't make a decision that you're going to regret in summary you will definitely want to just keep in mind that what you're trying on in store may have been a little loved so your brand new dress is going to appear more fresh a little more vibrant than what you saw in person two you are staring at the images for months to come so i do encourage you to not make too many changes because oftentimes brides end up falling in love with what they've been staring at in the image waiting for their dress to arrive three try on all the different colors see what your options are make sure that you take video and photo in it just to see what looks the best because truly designers do a darker undertone so that it photographs better and translates better in videos i hope that you found this video helpful for more videos and tips like this please be sure to tune in every wednesday at 8 a.m pacific standard time and i will see you in next week's video